Okay guys, we're going to take a look this morning at the mushroom circles. How we stack up to uh, a really good example of uh, this guy who's doing beautiful circles here. So we're going to look at this in slow motion first. Um, we're going to look at it in slow motion. So here he is. He's, he's doing clockwise circles. So his legs are going to swing from the right that you're viewing forward here. Um, and here we go. Right, notice that um, when his left hand is off, his right hand is pushing uh, towards the left in the direction of his feet, and his shoulder is leaning well away from his feet, and his head also. He's got a really straight body here. Um, let's bring it up forward. As soon as uh, his legs are past the hand position, he begins to reach back. And at this point, he's beginning to transition into a backward lean, okay? And at the front part, once his hand is down, he's got a full backward lean here, and his chest is open. His head is not back, but he's, he's not hunched over also. You really want to open your body up as much as possible here. Now he's going to move, trans, transfer the weight from a backward lean to a lean to the left side, and he's going to have basically a, a mirror image of what he had on the other side. He's pushing downward towards his feet and leaning hard to the left side. And again, he's got a pretty nice and straight body here. This side is not quite as strong as the opposite side, but this is still pretty nice and open here. Okay, and now he's transitioning to a forward lean so that he can get the legs up really nice and high behind him once he's in his full support, okay? So I'm just gonna let this run for a second. Okay, he did have a slight pipe there. I don't know whether you notice that or not. From this point, he's beginning to pipe slightly. He, he could stay a little bit straighter at this point as he's beginning to pick up his left hand. So that's the weakness in this, if there is a weakness in it. But these are pretty darn good circles. Something that we can strive to, to get to. Okay? All right, so I don't know whether you noticed or not. Let me pull this back. From this position, as he picks up his hand, you can actually see his chest and belly lift towards the, the ceiling right here. See that? How the stomach is coming up and forward? Okay? That's something we need to strive for. And here he's arching, okay, and lifting his heels behind him. Chest up, heels up. There's piking going up. As you're picking up your left hand, you're pulling your butt straight back. All right. That's looking better. Now counter turn your hips. Your knees are bending every time you're picking up your right hand. Your left hand, sorry. Okay, every time your left hand touches down, your legs come apart. Point those feet. Chest. 
Do it again. Lift your chest. I want to see your chest face the ceiling. You're like this. Lift. Lift. Lean. Okay? Pulling the head back doesn't do it. Just lift the chest, all right? Lift. Lift the chest. Lean back. You're not leaning back. All right, next. I want you to look for that, all right? Go! To the left, to the left, to the left. You're pulling your butt back. Every time your left hand's touching, you're pulling your butt back. You can't do that. That's closer, okay? You're straightening your body out more. Hey, right, what do we do with our L set to? Some uh, effort in to straighten these things out. You're going to face the wall. I want to see your shoulders back, okay, and forward. Back, back. That's better. Slide over the door. Then you start leaning back and start getting bigger. Come on, get your shoulders back. Better. Next. Lean. Your feet are doing this thing again. Put your feet together. Make them look nice. Back. Okay, don't pipe. Let your body straighten out. Swing it out there. 